WC man, quick reaction video to this nonsense kicking off 2017 with this um manufactured beef between these two jokers on screen and then the little cute girl in the middle who's Karachi. Don't you know what? This this beef right here, right here, right? This beef right here is like a big microcosm of everything that's wrong with not just the you know the music, hip hop and rap and R and B. It goes into the black community, the problems between black men. Um, it just like this beef right here, like it's it's exploded over the, like the last maybe twenty four hours. So basically, what happened according to Soldier Boy is that he commented on this girl right here, his picture right here. You see her, uh, Kar Karachi Tran, Tran right? Karachi, Karachi, Karachi. Uh, so he commented on her picture with you know a whole bunch of smiley faces and hearts and all this other garbage. You know, and I'm infamous for doing that too. I mean, look at her. She's pretty cute. You know what I'm saying? She got the dimples, the pretty chin, the, the neck, and all that. Whatever you want to say. All right, so she's a pretty pretty good looking girl. And I've been guilty of, you know, commenting on pictures, you know, um, on Instagram too. So it is what it is. I don't see any harm, any foul in it. But, you know, according to, so according to Soldier Boy, he says that Chris Brown, this, this dude right here, um, you know, basically called him up and threatened him and all this other stuff for so commenting on this girl's picture. Now, um, these two right here, they done broke up like a, like a long time ago. So I'm trying to figure out what's really going on, what's really good with that. Um, why he would still have feelings for this. I mean, I can see why he would still have feelings for her. I mean, look at her. But still, it's like, you know, you know, I don't understand the whole, um, you know, problem if they ain't hooked up, if they ain't together, what have you. Now... You know, from Chris's standpoint, he feels as though this girl's relevant because they went together for a good while. All right. And to be real with you, he's kind of right. I mean, <laughs> I mean, she like there's tons of really good looking women out there. But you didn't really know about Kar Karachi or Karuchi until she hooked up with Chris Brown. So that is the truth. It is. I mean, the truth kind of hurts if you Karuchi. But, you know, what I'm saying she's a cute enough girl to the point where. You know, hey, 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 maybe he put her on, but, you know, I mean, I think that she's cute enough to in order to, you know, probably get through um, what she's doing right now. You know what I'm saying? But he did kind of put her on. Um, but, you know, you have Sh Soldier Boy. Let me get back to Soldier Boy. All, like, since the end of what, summer 16, this dude has been beefing with a whole bunch of dudes and, you know what I'm saying, Little Yachty and Quavo and all this other stuff. I don't, I'm going to tell you like this. The hip hop genre right now is a joke, all right. And like, and, and I like I said, people people might not like that I have that opinion. I ain't into the mumble rap. I'm not buying that garbage. I'm not going to your shows. It's it's trash. It is. I mean, at the end of the day, it's trash to me. I'm not buying none of that garbage. Hip hop, hip hop and rap is not where it needs to be, and that's the reason why, you know, people look at the music the way that it does. People still going to show sell out shows, all right? That's that's undoubted, but we far away from the days of, you know, KRS-One and, you know, even LL and um, you know, like I said, we we far away from them days to the point where you got, you know, um Soldier Boy putting out a song, a diss song which was hilarious, by the way. Talk about Quavo wants some beef with me. Y'all should go look that up on YouTube. The the diss song was hilarious. I thought it was funny. Um and that's basically what it is, man. I, I'm I'm looking at Soldier Boy's music like it's a joke. Soldier Boy hasn't been mainstream relevant in my mind now. All right, in my mind, we talking about mainstream music, internationally known since I think either LeBron or somebody LeBron crew said that LeBron was Jay Z and that Deshaun Stevenson, basketball player, was Soldier Boy, and I remember that. Because it was all over sports and it was all over the news, and it was during the playoffs, and Soldier Boy showed up at the playoff game. I should know because I was there. So he showed up at the game with a Wizards jersey on, cheering on the Wizards, because you know relevancy. And you know that's basically what he's trying to do. I mean, he's trying to stay in the spotlight. He's beef with at least eight dudes since like the summer, the end of the summer, two thousand sixteen. If I get the words out, so I don't know what this guy's problem is. And then Chris Brown. They saying to do drug, not drug related, but they saying that he like gang related and all this other stuff. I don't know what's up with the, all these um, R&B singers getting all buff in the chest. I mean, I seen like a video of 
I think a Trey Song's going off because, you know, the, the security or the arena wouldn't let him finish his set, and he was going all late. And I mean, look, I, I know about everything that's going on. I just don't report on a lot of this stuff, but I thought that this was interesting. So you get this beef right here. This is this is so stupid. You know what I'm saying? You got two two guys that are pretty talented. I'm not going to sit up here and say that Soldier Boy's too talented because we already know what it is. But he's still an artist. He still he still sold you know a bunch of records for what it's worth. Can't take that away from him. But Chris Brown, you know, people would talk about Chris Brown like he was going to be, you know, the modern age James Brown. The uh, you know what I'm saying the modern age. Um, uh, Michael Jackson and everything and the whole debacle with him and Rihanna, him getting caught up with that. Um, whether he hit her or not, he served some time, so he probably did hit her. Um, we don't know. We wasn't in that Lambo. We wasn't in that car, so we don't really know. But this whole situation is just stupid. You know what I'm saying? You got black men talking about they're going to box it out, fight it out, pulling up with the Draco over this woman. and this And this chick right here you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, you could have took her face out and put just about anybody in it. But it's relevant because these two used to used to hook up. I mean, it is what it is from that standpoint. But, you know, the hip hop community is basically it's come down to beefs and, you know, I ain't, like I'm not I'm not listening to that junk over hot beats. All right. I'd rather just listen to the beats for real. I mean, that's basically what hip hop is right now. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about the music. We talk about a beef between two jokers, all right, and a woman that's basically relevant because one of these jokers. That's basically what this is. And this is starting off 2017. Now, I had another video that I wanted to post about the black community. Um, and hip-hop kind of intertwines into that. I'm going to have to post that video. I, I was like, look, that video is a little bit too controversial. You know, it's one of those things that, you know, I don't think I want to go down that road with people too much, but I'm probably going to I'm probably going to post that video. Um, let me know how y'all feel about this this stupid ass beef, man. I mean, it's this is so stupid. I mean, this this stuff that's still happening right now. I think that like a couple minutes ago, as I'm recording this, I think that Chris Brown went in on Karuchi. I think that she said something about it being irrelevant, and then he went on some kind of verbal tirade. They talking about boxing and all this other stuff. This is this is this is the way that the hip hop community, the black community, is is kicking off 2017 with this nonsense. I mean, everywhere it's, it's just about everywhere. So I just wanted to chime in on this. You know, let me know how y'all feel about this. I mean, if you're gonna beef over somebody, at least beef over somebody that wants you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's kind of that's kind of where it is right now. Um. Until next time, folks. Peace. I don't I don't really know what else to say. Till next time, peace out.